Right. So, wall drill exercise. This drill is very, very important for all doubles player. Okay, I still remember back in my time, when, uh, back in my club, so my coach asked me to do this for at least six months. Every day I have to do this at least five to 10 minutes. Okay, the purpose of this wall drill is first to improve your finger power, to improve your reaction, to improve changing your grip quickly, and to improve your consistency. Okay, so do this exercise until you feel sore on your arm and on your finger as well. I guarantee less than two minutes, less than five minutes, your arm will start to feel sore. Okay, so when you do this drill, you want to make sure that try to hit the bird between your hips and your chest. You don't want to hit too high. Okay, and depending on what type of uh, uh, defense that you want to work on. So if you want to work on your defense drive, okay, try to hit between your hips and your chest. Okay, because when you stand on the court, you stand far from the net. If you stand too high, if you stand way, uh, if you hit the body way too high, all of your shot will going up. Okay, but if you want to work on your drive, you try to hit the body a little bit lower. Okay, so for example, okay, snap, 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 snap. So when you do this drill, okay, apply a whipping motion on your finger. Okay, whip, 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 whip. Okay. Snap, squeeze, okay. okay. You can also change your grip, okay. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, okay. Until you feel sore and tired on your arm. See, I start to feel very, very tired. Okay, you can, you can also work on your drive, the upper shot. So when you do a drive, upper shot, you can try to hit between here to here. Okay, so, and after a while, you, you might want to take a break and then try to loosen up your muscle because it, it is very, very tight over here. So you try to loosen up your muscle after a while and then you try to practice it again, repeat the exercise again. Okay, so start from the lower, the bottom, and then you can start to go up. Do the upper shot, upper drive. Okay, again, lower. And then you can start to bring it up. Okay, so. So again, this wall exercise also will help you to improve changing your grip, okay? Because when you practice against the wall, um, the return will be unpredictable. You cannot tell where the body come to the whether the body come to your left or whether the body come to your right. So this is great exercise for you to change your grip. The key to that is make sure you grip your racket loose. You don't want to grip your racket tight. If you grip too, too tight, it's very hard for you to change your grip. Second, you don't want to grip it too low. Okay, you want to apply a long grip. Okay, a short, sorry. You want to apply a short grip so that way you can rotate your grip easily. Okay, so let me, let me show you. Okay, so forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, <coughs> again. You have to be able to change your grip, although when you play double, when you defend, you can also cover forehand area with the backhand grip, but it is necessarily for you to change to forehand, especially when your opponent smash or hit very far, and it requires you to reach out, then you have to switch to forehand, okay? You cannot do backhand like this, so you have to reach out.
Okay. Within your reach, sure, you can use your backhand and recharge with backhand. But when the body goes out of your reach, you have to switch to forehand grip.